and you remove the intake hose. And you simply lay the machine and the motor down on the side. Remove this tray and you'll see a red button on the inside. That is the reset button and it once the motor, you need to let the motor cool down because it is a thermal reset. So you need to let the motor cool down before you try to reset it. And it usually takes a good aggressive push to make it connect. You put everything back together, put the motor back on, hook everything up, try the motor again. If it works, you go about your business. If it doesn't work, it's, we need to trace back and find out where the problem is. The easiest way to do that is to go backwards through the process. And the first thing I ask everybody to do is pull this connection off. You lift up on the, the blue knob, you pull the connector off, and you check to make sure that it's clean inside. And on the, uh, the uh, nipple, make sure it's very clean and then you put it back on securely. And to do so, it's easiest to pull back, set it down, press hard, and let go, and make sure that it's on. Try it again. Turn the machine back on. If it doesn't work still, the next step is to go to the intake side. There's a number of reasons why your machine may not be working. If you hear the motor humming, you know the motor works. You know the electrical connection is right. If you don't hear any hum, check your electrical connection. Make sure that the extension cord is hooked in. Make sure that the socket is hot that it's plugged into. And you can do that by plugging the machine into another socket. Or you can plug something into the socket that you're in. If it works, then you know you've got power. If you're getting power to the motor and it's still not pulling oil through the system, I would say go next to your intake hose and pull it off. And I hate to tell you this, but it's something I highly recommend that you do. Is find a way to blow through it. And you can tell whether it's got an obstruction. If there's no obstruction, look down in the bottom. There's a silicone gasket. Make sure that gasket is not broken or cracked. If it is, it's not making good connection and it's sucking air rather than oil. So if we know this piece is fine, we set it aside and we go to the next piece, which is the riser tube. I'm going to get down to where I can get to it. And we take the riser tube and you point it at a light source and look through and see that it's clear. If it's clear, you set it aside and you go to the next item. And the next item is the filter screen. What you want to make sure is that the filter screen and this little connector, this fitting, is firm. That it's not broken loose. Now if all those things are going on and we still have a problem with the motor, or we still have a problem that things aren't working right, um, I, I would like us to go ahead and plug the machine in we will turn the motor on and we're going to put our finger over the intake what we want to feel is that there's suction that the pump is turning and that suction is, is working and is enough to pull oil through the pipe you should be able to feel and hear a difference. If you're not feeling and hearing that, I would say pick up the phone, call our number, which is right here on the machine, call us and let us talk you through the rest of the process. We wish you the best of luck with the Armadillo. We think you're going to have long years of service and it's our pleasure to serve you. Please give us a call. Thank you.